Hello there, collective. Let's do your collective messages for today. This is Sage Scented Healing Tarot. Today is the 29th of December 2021. So it's almost the end of the, day, the year. So I want to say happy holidays to you and may the rest of your year prove to be more fruitful than you could ever imagine into your new year coming in two to three, what, three days. All right. So thank you for being here. And, um, I want to say I appreciate you liking the video, sharing and subscribing. So when you subscribe to the channel, you become a member of the family. When you subscribe and you hit the notification bell, you know, when I upload new content, you know, so you're notified right away. You get to see the messages as soon as they upload fresh, fresh, especially when I do daily messages, you get to see what's um, coming up for you in the day. I appreciate you, your comments and your consistency, your likes, all of that, your shares, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vibration. And I hope to get some messages for you that's going to really help you on your journey. Let's see. So we have the Nine of Swords, which is sadness or sorrow or feeling a loss, depression, going through it. Feels like, oh no, vibration. Like, what did I do? Kind of energy. What did I do? Or what are you waiting for? A decision. Is the decision in your hands? Up to you. If you want it to be in your hands, you can take control of it. You can make the change. I feel like each person can make a change or make a difference. It's up to you really. That's how I feel. Like instead of suffering something... I feel like you can choose the pers a different perspective on it. You know what I mean? But the four of swords, maybe you could rest a little, relax, like sink down. One time I had a vision of falling. I was in the midst of a crowd and everyone was pointing at me laughing. I don't know why, but I was falling in the, and I was in the center of this crowd. So it was a circle around me. I was so afraid of falling. I was so afraid of letting go. Maybe it means letting go of other people's opinions or expectations or judgments or criticisms or all of these fears and doubts and trauma. And I feel like in that one moment in this vision, all of that surrounded me and I was exposed. And so I was falling into this abyss. It's like I wasn't going anywhere. I was just falling to, into this darkness. And that was the vision. It ended there. And I, 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 when, I, when I came from that vision, I was afraid. I was terrified, especially remembering the faces of the people that were laughing at me. It was horrible to, for me in that experience. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why was everyone laughing at me? Why, why? Like, what's going on? And that's all I got. Um, no, another time... I had another feeling. This feeling, this, this this was also a vision, but it's more like a feeling that I received. I was falling, but it was at the latter part of the fall, and I fell into someone's palm, and it was the lightest thing. I felt like a feather, and I just fell, and I laid there, and and it rem I remember the vision I had before about being afraid to fall. And in this vision that came through and I felt so comforted, like I realized I wasn't going to, like I got caught, like I fell into this huge palm, you know, and I feel like you could put your trust in your fate, have faith. I feel that you're not alone and have faith that you're protected and shielded. I also want you to have courage I also want you to have faith in the face of adversity, whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, like whatever, I, in the, like I said, I'm being criticized or judged and it's making, maybe taking a toll on you, on you and you, you may be afraid of that experience or something like that. I feel like you could meditate more, you know, it's going to build your faith, um, spend time in your visions closing your eyes in your internal world in that darkness and there's also a light external so maybe have a candle light or something maybe it's been a while since you've meditated that's why you are uneasy because you're not, you're kind of disconnected with your soul self 
maybe you know because it's this this four of swords is in your challenge area your obstacle maybe spend time praying as well giving thanks um building because when i see the four energy i feel like it's home i feel like four walls four columns so it feels like building that stability in your self and you need that faith trust security you know <clears throat> you can't serve two gods they say i feel like you need to have one faith that you rely upon as you see this person is resting upon one sword and there's also something about talking, speaking, you know, speak, speak. You know, you know the energy of a woman that prophecy, prophesying, that's the energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like prophesying even over testimony, test testifying over your life. It's like declaring over your own life. You should walk, you should walk that strong. <clears throat> you should walk that strong and develop that kind of faith, especially in this time. I feel like you're going to really need it look wow the hangman energy that's what i'm talking about meditation it's like hanging out in that space a little bit yes and 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 maybe having a light around you like a candlelight on the external i feel like having the candlelight on the external while while you dive inside of yourself deeply it helps with something i don't know it helps with the, the transition or the portal you know the energy of going into the matrix but still needing you know the energy of inception where you go into the dream but there's still something on the physical in the real world so-called real world um <laughs> that makes that keeps you tethered to the real world so you don't just dive all the way into the dream and get lost something like that with the candles light okay it makes you keep focused as well it's like it's burning for you in your wake or as it waits for you to find your way back to it or some kind of guidance with the light of the candle when it comes to even awakening your intuition uh, yeah it has something to do with your third eye vision as well so you know that part of the reading is for you that you know you need like i feel your energy needs to meditate a bit and it's a deep meditation i'm telling you it's like almost like you need to spend an an hour in the dark in a dark room close your eyes or maybe you don't have to close your eyes but the place got to be dark and you've got to be alone maybe you can have music instrumental without without words and you know i feel like even diving like psychedelics as well anything that will have you in a dream state maybe lucid dream as well but it's almost like you need to get out of your body for a little bit you know to have this higher perspective but your body itself needs a break or you know it's almost like you've been playing this role too hard you've been going so hard in this in this role when was the last time you took a break from acting this role so it's the energy because when you meditate it's almost like i saw this meme once um where this person when they meditate they, it's like like unzipping yourself like someone wearing a suit and then unzip themselves and when they unzip themselves they're actually they're actually an alien like for real so it's like this role that you're waking up and playing every single day can be stressful it's like you need to recuperate regather yourself remember that it's you're you're playing a role you're a character and that might be hard for you to understand or hear some people like may not want to hear that but it's we're all playing a role really like what is your role are you work what are you working on are you too involved in it that it's causing you stress because you're not really getting a higher perspective and to have a higher perspective you go inside these three cards are just talking about meditation for me here getting internal insight getting some insight of what is going on insight is like even foresight or higher vision i'm telling you i feel like you've planted a vision here is what this feels like you planted this big vision it's kind of heavy i won't lie it's like a lot it's like you tell yourself, I want this and this and this and this and this. It's, like, it's a lot. For you, you think it's a huge vision. Like it's hard to achieve maybe. And so it's almost like you make it weigh on you. 
I want to change your perspective because I want to make it so light. Because I feel I can transmute this energy with you here now. Because, you know, you <laughs> it's so kind of, it's funny because you created this vision and then you, it's like you drop the blue plan, the, blue, the blueprint and everything and you put it in the back seat of your car and you're driving this car. While you're driving your car, you're worrying about the vision that you have created and left on, on your back seat of your car. So it's consistently on your mind while you're operating in your life. And you're thinking it's hard to re reach. You're never going to get there. You're not even going to get the chance to look at it again. Or it's what you're going after. But it's like you you don't feel a divine connection to its holding. Something like that. That's what's causing your suffering. But there's something like it's driving you mad. Because the truth is it's already, it's almost, it's funny because it's already here. And the vision and the dream itself feels so real and alive. It's like a person in the backseat of your car feeling like, I'm already here. What are you so upset and work up? Why are you getting so worked up? I'm here. You know, so your vision is wanting you to see it, that it's there. But you're like, listen to me, I can't talk to you right now. I'm so stressed. You have no idea what I'm going through. And you're telling your vision that, you know, <laughs> maybe this is another person. 